let's see who you are. Max, can you take the mask off? Hello, wow, young man. Wow, nice you're a to handsome guy. <laughs> this is exciting stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Do you like being Darth Vader? It's really cool. How did this happen? I mean, how did this audition take place and how did he win? You know, uh, well, it started, at, I think, uh, December 29th was his first audition. Then he had a call back and it got down to 16 kids. And we got a call over a weekend that said they booked it. And uh, it actually wasn't until halfway through the first day of filming we even knew it was a Super Bowl commercial. We just were thrilled. We thought it was his first national commercial. And then the Deutsch group was like, no, it's it's a Super Bowl spot. And then I was like, whoa, this is, this is out of this world. And you so. had never seen Star Wars, so you didn't know much about Darth Vader, did you? No. No. So you went to the internet and you saw a picture of him? Is that how it happened? And uh, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> do you, do, I mean, now, you, your mom said this is your first national commercial. Tell me about some of the other commercials you've done. Well, I mean, I've done, like, other commercials. Yeah. Do you remember who you backed up in the two commercials? A Band-Aid and, uh... I can't remember. What were the other ones? It was uh, he was actually at Clear Communications was his first national was his first commercial that was regional, <laughs> and then Walgreens was the back. Yeah, it's all yeah. yeah one after another, and on a soap as well. So yes. a yeah. busy guy, yeah. And when you think about the number of people who watched this ad online. Forget the Super Bowl. There's another yeah. what, yeah. you know, hundred million people, but like something like ten million people watched it before the game even started. Yeah, it was unbelievable. What kind of response? I mean, what kind of response have you guys got? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I can't even keep up with the messages and the calls, and I wish I could because so many people support us in so many things. But uh, it's just, it's just overwhelming. The first night it was at sixty thousand. I went to bed. When I went to bed, woke up the next morning, it was at a million, and then my mind couldn't comprehend after yeah. that. What have your friends <laughs> said to you, Max? Well, I mean, they said me a lot. I mean, some friends said they can't see. They wish they could. So, I mean, lots have said. I've heard people have been asking for your autograph, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, you're young and restless. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. because Especially of the young and the restless. restless. Just want to mention real quickly that Max was born with a congenital heart defect. He was. He has a pacemaker. Is he does. that right? How, how mm -hmm. is, are you feeling okay, Max? Yeah. Yeah? He's, he's in good prognosis, from what he I understand. He is. He is. Um, he had his first surgery um, at, when he was three months old at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. And um, from then, they saved his life and gave him back to us. About a week after his first surgery, he had to have a pacemaker put in. Um, and so he has maintenance on that. So he's still routinely at the hospital, but we try and make it fun. We take blankets and bears and try not always make it so scary about appointments and blood draws and things like that. But he's, um, you know, he's a real inspiration. And even the press conference they held for us in Los Angeles, he, uh, you know, there's a, a father and son, and they're in the garden. And the dad said, um, just to see him run and play is enough. And that's an, that was always enough for us too, just to see that little ray of hope of what the couple years ahead of him looks like. And uh, you can do anything. Way to go. Ooh, the force, I got <laughs> the, it the right force through my with you. Max, Thank congratulations. You, Max. Thank you, Jennifer, as well. Thank you. Really and we're cool. back right after this.